Hi, how are you going? I hope you're feeling as well as possible on your medicines. I'm Pharmacist Fee. Welcome to my YouTube channel and to episode seven of our new series called What Went Wrong? Ms. F had had such a stressful day. First, she sprained her ankle on her morning run and had to limp home slowly in pain, which made her late for her early shift at work, which was an extra busy Thursday helping prepare for a biannual clearance stock take sale, which was a big deal for their little shop because half their small town would come along for the social side of the event. To top it all off, when she would normally finish work mid-afternoon, Ms. F was asked to stay late because someone else had gone home sick with a vomiting illness. By the time she got to the pharmacy to collect her regular medications on her way home from work that night, she was very tired, hungry and still in some pain from her ankle, all of which made it harder to listen. So, when the locum pharmacist called out a name and smiled at Ms. F, even though she had not listened to the name, because she was the only person standing there and most people in town knew who she was, she did not realise that the person to whom the medicines actually belonged had left them with a pharmacy assistant and then gone shopping. And the locum pharmacist had not yet learnt her name and only smiled at her to be polite and recognise that she was standing there. So Ms F went over to the counter and accidentally collected someone else's medicines from the pharmacist because the pharmacist thought Ms F must be the person whose name he had just called out quite loudly. Because Ms F had taken the last pill of one of her medicines the day before, the next morning, she opened one of the new packets which she had collected from the pharmacy and she noticed it looked a bit different to usual. And even though it still said take one daily on the label, the pills were a different colour too. But the pharmacy did change brands a bit recently because it had become harder for the pharmacy to buy the same brand consistently since COVID-19 was affecting international supply chains. So she just took the medicine which made her feel sleepy and quite nauseous. Then she vomited and started feeling even worse, a strange floating but heavy feeling like she might faint any minute. So she sat down and tried to read the medicine packets label. And that was when she noticed it was not her name on the packet, but someone else's. And when she compared it to her old medicine packet, she found that none of the drug names on the two packets matched. So she immediately called an ambulance. And thankfully, the ambulance officer actually lived next door and was home. So she got to hospital quickly, but she was very unwell. And at the hospital, they tried to reduce how much more of the medicine her body absorbed, but they still had to monitor her heart in hospital for the rest of that day because the medicine had brought on a dangerous heart rhythm problem called prolonged QT syndrome. And it wasn't until late the next day that she was able to go home and a few more days before she felt less exhausted from the whole ordeal. But how could Ms. F have possibly prevented this medicine problem? Top tip number one. Anytime you collect any medicines from the pharmacy, check whether every medicine has your name on it and not someone else's. Top tip number two. Anytime you collect any medicines from the pharmacy, take your medicines, allergies and contacts list with you and check your medicines against that list. And if anything looks different, like active ingredient name, active ingredient strength, or instructions on how to take the medicine on the medicine's label or container, if anything looks different, ask the pharmacist to check it before you leave the pharmacy. Or if you are unsure what the active ingredient name or active ingredient strength are, ask your pharmacist to please check your medicines against your medicines, allergies and contacts list for you. Top tip number three. If you don't already have one, make a medicines, allergies and contacts list with your doctor and pharmacist. And I'll put a link to a video about this into the description section below this video for you. Please click the subscribe and like buttons if you'd like to see more of these medicine safety videos. And Denver and I look forward to catching up with you again very soon here on this Pharmacist V Medicine Safety YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.